Time to think pink as Breast Cancer Awareness Month kicks off. Held in October every year, it aims to promote screening and prevention. Yeah, Erin, I recently met up with an eight-year breast cancer survivor, and she shares her story about making mastectomy pillows for patients for free. It is her way of saying you're not alone. Kim Palmer is affectionately known as the pillow lady. These are the pillows that I make. I make them out of flannel. Kim was diagnosed with stage one invasive breast cancer on October 1st, 2015, and had a double mastectomy just 11 days later. After my surgery, um, I needed something to keep myself busy. I needed to keep my mind busy. What started as a personal project quickly turned into something bigger, and so far she's donated 2,000 pillows. I've had people ask if they can purchase pillows. I do not sell them. I know how expensive cancer is. I do not want to add to that for comfort for someone. So all my pillows are donated. With help from her husband, Kim drops off bundles of pillows at the Methodist Estabrook Cancer Center every chance she gets. The nurses then distribute the pillows to post-operative mastectomy patients. I can't even tell you how much these are appreciated. When I actually get to meet another patient that I get to give a pillow to, it's a very emotional moment. Um, not only for them for receiving it, but it makes me feel like I'm making a difference. Each pillow is hand stitched and Kim tells me it is a labor of love, but the material she uses can get pricey. That's why she started this Facebook group. It's called Crafts for a Cause. It helps fund the pillow project. During the summertime, my husband, my dad and my daughter all help with, we go around to auctions to find things that we can repurpose, that we can sell. Um, so it's kind of a family thing. And while she's had success selling her crafts on the Facebook page, she said she's much rather focused solely on the pillow project, but that can only happen through community donations. So if you would like to donate to help with some of Kim's expenses, she accepts both Venmo and PayPal. And of course, we have all that information for you on our website, www.wwt.com. Erin. And it's